Hey there, Earth Kingdom. Welcome to your love reading. The following is going to be for those with their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in Capricorn, Taurus, and or Virgo. If we haven't met yet, my name is High Priestess Berries, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler. Open to check in on a person that you love and care about. Now, always remember, listen to your instincts and tap into your intuition. If there is anything that I talk about that doesn't make any sense, totally fine. Don't worry about it. This message may not be for you, but you're always welcome to go to my channel to find another video. Man, trying to get this reading started is a challenge. You earth people are just so stubborn. There is this energy that I am picking up as I'm trying to channel your person. When I go to record this, it's Valentine's Day, or at least around that time of year when we express our love for each other, when we show and we find physical proofs of our commitment to one another. But what the hell is up with your person? I am gripping this deck like with a death grip and I find it funny that I have a femme fatale at the base of the deck. Your person is, they're not angry, but it's this like, the word for it. I have no earth in my, I have no earth in my chart. So this is always an interesting one trying to, it's like trying to stubbornly, I mean stubbornly hold on to something. And there is some kind of growing up energy that I am picking up from your person. In the pre-shuffle for your specific angle, I did get the nine of pentacles, but in the base of the deck, I do have the page of cups. This, I'm actually getting a lot of age difference energy. Now, whether if that um, you and your person have a large age gap between you two, or there's a maturity gap that some are having a difficult time acknowledging at this point. I do find it interesting that Ten of Pentacles is also at the base of the deck, sort of this, your person is trying to figure out where they wanna be in their life. Cause we do have like a child here. We have young adults, young parents, but we also have this grandchild energy as well. And even as I show on my table, your person is, they're kind of facing away from you on my spread, but even though they're not necessarily paying attention to what's going on right now, there's a piece of them that is, the, the stubborn aspect is, I need to figure this out on my own. And sometimes it's that energy where, sometimes it's just easier to ask for help and this is curious. I, I'm going to be splitting the deck because like I said, I did see the femme fatale highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart when dependency is rejected. And especially if you have an age gap with the person that you are connected to, there is this resentment because you were not able to fulfill that parental archetype. It is femme fatale. So that uh, feminine energy where you're because some people are attracted to those who are older because it's sort of like I'm sorry to say the replacement mom and you weren't willing to play that role you were looking for equal partnership not like you know a, a, not a, a child that is you know old enough to vote but too immature to be thoughtful about who they vote for. Like, I'm not being literal, but it's kind of around that sort of um, immaturity. And as I go to cut the deck to see what kind of energy that your person is in, we do have the queen radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others. But in the shadow aspect becomes arrogant when authority is challenged, controlling and demanding. I really want to scream, pick a fucking lane with your person where it's as though they want to surrender to this matriarchal authority, but then they get angry at you and then angry at themselves. Your person's all over the place. What did it would explain how it took me 
yeah, four, five, six on the clock, like four, five, six times just to start this fucking reading. Your person is all over the place and that can be very uncomfortable for earth energy. At the top of the deck, we have the monk and the nun in the light aspect. Selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit versus negative judgment of the physical world. Excess piety. I'm more drawn to single-minded on this card. It is that stubborn energy where they are being confronted with the need to grow up and they don't want anybody else to tell them what to do. To their credit, part of them, part of the reason they are in this energy is if they figure it out on their own, it means that they no longer have a dependency on a motherly figure. Cool. Okay. I got chills when I said that. So let's have a look at what's going on. Before I go to cut the decks, we do have the Queen of Swords and the Tower. This con constructive feedback, this honesty, this I'm telling you this for your own good, followed by a tower. They are on this razor thin edge and they are holding on to it so tight that they don't care if it cuts off circulation to their fingers. They don't care if they start bleeding. They don't want to let go unless they are 110% absolutely certain with their decisions. Oh, and after I go to cut the deck, change. We have death. That's, it's, it's basically avoiding change. But knowing that when they're ready to let go, the change will be okay. Uh, we got that King of Wands. This, this is very sexual in nature, but it is a little bit of that fiery stubbornness. Like remember earlier, I was gripping the, the card that said Femme Fatale, and it's as though they're... It's not pride. That's the thing. Like, King of Wands can be seen as sort of this, like, pride, arrogant little asshole. And in some ways, it's sort of like, I'm trying to be responsible. I'm trying to grow up. It's it's like going from this, you know, childish energy to being the man of the house. Now, take gender as it resonates, but this is a little bit of them trying to find their own victory for the sake of themselves. Interesting. Okay. So what are their feelings of their situation during this time? Yeah. Okay. Knight of Swords, Four of Swords. Both of them do have these armored knight energies. They have been very blocked up in their emotions. This is a little bit of that death change energy, but it's more that they are in quarantine, that they are in a stasis pod. This idea that if I just stay here frozen the whole time, I don't need to make a decision. And part of the reason I, I, I'm interested that the Queen of Swords showed up followed by death is not making a decision is still a decision. And I've been getting a lot of Knight of Swords energy going through the collective where it's more like working on bad information. There is something within your person's psyche that they are more likely to be put into a freeze situation. With the pandemic hitting, a lot of people talk about fight and flight, but the other two aspects that became a little bit more well-known were fawning and freeze. Now, fawning is that fear that someone doesn't like you, that you need to be likable, and it's a lot of that self-worth. This is more of a freeze energy where um, they feel safer not moving. It's almost like a turtle hanging around in its own shell, and they root themselves in one space and use that immobility for them to help figure out 
their thoughts. This is a very thoughtful energy, but it's been slow. That's why I'm picking up this maturity gap. Like I said, this could be actual physical age. Like I've, I've known couples growing up that were 10 years apart, 14 years apart. And even when they first decided to, to pop the first question. So how old are you actually? And being willing to have that reveal that, you know, it's a huge age gap, but even with the couple that I'm thinking about who went through this experience, it was like, well, if that's the only difference, well, then what's the big deal? And your person is feeling bad going, why is this a big fucking deal? So even if it's like actual age or emotional maturity, your person has put themselves into this locked quarantine headspace so that they don't need to make a decision. And you've grown, you've thrived. This is you. You've got some cute little like, you know, like, you know, you, you don't even care about using like, you know, facial cream anymore. You're emb embracing your, your, um, you know, matronly or patronly features and being willing to be enveloped in your wisdom and it's scaring the shit out of this person because they waited for so fucking long to try and come to a decision that they refreeze themselves i make a lot of batman references and i have been thinking about that arnold schwarzenegger freeze in hell batman and people are stuck in place your person is stuck now that said, well, they're kind of stuck in their little, like, you know, quarantine space pod right now. What are their feelings for you? Oh, my goodness. No surprise to see the hermit with the ace of wands. It's <laughs> well, like, you know, I know they're, uh, they're, uh, they're thinking about, yeah, they're, uh, they're uh, maybe beaten off to you in their little quarantine pod. Like, it's kind of funny to think that they're frozen in fear, but they're willing to fantasize about you. And it's probably not helping their psyche that they think that they can stay in this safe little bubble just thinking about you and thinking that a fantasy is going to be enough for them. But this hermit also showed up in the fire reading that I recently just did. And it's kind of funny. I, I am picking up a little bit of like that Chronicles of Narnia where this idea of like going into a closet, going into another reality. And one thing that your person is starting to realize and it's helping them thaw out is that when we have a spiritual journey and we have soulmates, when we have time apart, and we come back together, the time in between when we are healed, it's almost meaningless as though it never happened. I recently shared that just before all the things happened, I went home to Canada to visit a friend for her wedding. I reconnected with somebody who I hadn't spoken with in over 18 years. We had just lost touch. We were friends in high school and we reconnected. We picked up the conversation where it left off and it was as though no time had passed. Your person, even though they're kind of stuck between a fantasy land and in their own frozen emotions, there is a piece of them that is starting to come to terms with realizing, wait, okay, there's some guilt about the past and how much time has passed, but they're starting to warm up to the idea that even if it's been a while since you heard from this person or this person has wandered off because they wanted to try and find something in another queen and another femme fatale energy because they wanted to figure it out on their own because cough, you might have been right about something and they didn't quite like it. That period of time, that period of separation, they're, they're starting to realize maybe the amount of time doesn't matter anymore. It's more about the, uh, the result than the journey. But that said, what will the universe be helping them clarify during this period of their life? Five of Wands and Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords came back. And this is that thawed energy I was talking about that's going to be unleashing this, this night. So think of it this way. As they start to thaw themselves out, 
warm themselves up to the idea that maybe a fantasy is not going to really satiate them in the long term, they're starting to realize that's more of a stopgap and they're going to actually feel more empowered. Well, this earlier one, it just kind of standing there looming. This is one of action. This is one that's like, okay, I'm starting to see what the hell it is that is holding me back. And we do have five of wands. It is a card of bullshit, conflict. I don't know why I'm hearing the word Bolshevik. I have no idea if that means anything to anybody. Let me know. But there's this army of people that they have been trying to appease. But notice how nobody's paying attention. And it's as though they've begun to give themselves permission to start seeing where they had been so worried. And it's meaningless that they are, they are bigger than the bullshit that they have allowed themselves to be tamped down with. Now that said, as they begin to warm up and start to see that they can have movement just in general, it's not even so much movement towards you. They can't be stuck in their infantile emotions because I also see that other people are getting away. Other people are turning their back. Other people are growing up and they're being left behind and they need to do a lot of catching up. Sometimes the sword, especially if I see it as a page, that's going back to school, going back to the, the theory of everything and readdressing what it is that I actually need to know versus what I need to actually do. Your person's getting left behind and because you walked away, other people are now walking away. And this frozen alone energy is their frozen and alone energy is there's some magic going on with your person. You might be in a state where maybe you've been hurt. You haven't heard from this person. You try to reach out. They don't reach back. You've been trying to check in on them. Nothing makes sense. There is some magic and soul calling that your person is finally warming up to. And even though they might still be in this exploratory, exploratory energy, trying to figure out where it is they want to go in their personal emotional journey, they have been called to actually trust that this time away has not been useless. There's nothing worse than feeling as though you allowed the, the person to get away and you think that all is lost, but they are starting to see, I'm feeling lots of warmth. I've been very cold this whole, this whole reading, but I'm getting this warm rush flowing through and they're starting to see that this period of time has actually been necessary. While it may look like cold storage, there was some wounding that needed healing. And whatever that wound was, because if we're talking about motherly affection, oh, well, we got the damsel below that, they need to come into their own matronly energies. Doesn't matter your person's gender. And they're finally finding those answers. Like I said earlier, your person is frustrated because they want to figure out the answers on their own. And they are feeling better knowing that even if maybe they didn't go about this the best way, it was the way that they needed to learn how to warm up to themselves so that they can take care and nurture themselves without having to depend on you or anybody else. Because at this point, they have nothing and they didn't sign up for nothing. So as your person sets in with this warm clarity from the universe, what actions may they take? Angel of air and the two of swords. This is almost like thawing their thoughts. And they're still working through a lot of 
Did I do the right thing? What is the right thing? Should I do the right thing? It's kind of cool, even though we have one in the reverse and one up top, notice how the shape of these two air energies almost look the exact same. Pay attention to what you are noticing in your reality. What, what are you struggling with in terms of making a decision? Are you dealing with a crossroads energy? Are you having a difficult time moving forward? You're mirroring this person. The angel of air, I in this deck, I think of it as sort of like, it's like a page energy, but it's like a heavenly page, the heavenly messenger. Taking this page of cups, being stuck in this infantile energy and using it to cloud their thoughts because look we got a lot of cloud energy right here as well and they're learning how to make decisions even if they don't know the final outcome that stubborn energy i was picking up on your person earlier like that is just a safety mechanism because if they don't make a decision, that's still making a decision. It's them coming to terms with realizing their inaction has truly been an action. They got a little bit of, um, they got a little bit of sorting out 2121 on the clock. They got to sort some things out. But it sounds like you might as well. If you're trying to understand what your person's going through, just understand what you are going through. There is a lot of mirroring happening. They don't know what needs to come next, but they are starting to exercise their adulting brain, their ability to be all grown up, trying to come into their maturity, having that faith that even if I make a decision, it's okay to give it a try. It's okay to change your mind because your person has depended so much on matronly energies to tell them, oh, it's going to be okay. Oh, it'll totally be fine. I'll always be here no matter what. They're accustomed to being coddled when they make mistakes. They're getting accustomed to the idea it's okay to make mistakes and it's okay that they can change their mind. In the past, they have had motherly energies inadvertently crutching them. You know, it's kind of the mom paradigm with their son. Like, <laughs> oh my God, what's that? What's that mean joke that my ex-sister-in-law used to say? A, a man's best friend is his mother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And this is like the form of independence that your person is beginning to realize nobody knows what they're doing. Nobody has idea what's going to come next. And they're starting to learn to feel okay with it. You may not hear from this person during this time. They're probably going to be very solo in their emotions, but that's a good thing. It means it's that they're breaking out of their shell and they're starting to take those steps to start finding their own personal clarity to get to know themselves for the first time. Oh, that's amazing. So I want to get a message for um, each of the signs. Whoa, we got the explorer that, that came out here. This idea, it's totally fine. Go explore. Your person is feedbacking off of you. If you want to help give them a boost, go forward. Soldier on. Get wild. Capricorn. Just observe what's going on around you. Um, you are mirroring a lot of this person. You probably have a lot of decisions going on in your life. These angel wings are the angel of air, also supporting both of you at the same place at the same time. Put on that curiosity, but keep making those first steps, acknowledging when things go right and when they don't go so right. Believe it or not, they are learning from you, but between you and me, we'll just pretend it was their idea. <laughs> Taurus, it's okay to surrender to what is going on. Your person is finally finding ways to wake up to their own intuition. That thing that you kept trying to tell them about. Something in their past inadvertently poked their third eye out and they're starting to heal. This restoration, cons uh, what's the word? Not cons, consolation? 
What is that word? <laughs> what is that C word? Ooh, that is an interesting little slip there. Convocation, this rest period where they've had to learn how to deal with their resentments to other feminine energies had nothing to do with you in the first place. Virgo. It goes along with this get wild and take risk energy. It's hard, especially if you identify as an earth element, to be able to climb to new heights, try new things, take on new challenges. You and your person are working together and apart. Don't be discouraged if you don't hear anything from them during this period. Just think of it from an imaginary perspective. What kind of adventure are you on? What are you conquering? What are you trying that's different and brand new? You're also coming of age in your own right. Be receptive to this explorative energy. You are finding your true north and your person as well. Have faith that both of you are going to meet together at the right place at the right time or you will both be equal partners. I'm just saying. <sighs> well, whoever you are, I really hoped that this helped. <sighs> If you like my style, you're more than welcome to like, share, and subscribe. And heck, if this didn't resonate with you, that's totally fine. You're more than welcome to go look up some of the psychology of the fight and the flight versus the freeze and the fawn. Whatever information you find there, I think it's going to help you in your journey and help you understand a lot of people that you have been dealing with in your immediate reality too. Or whatever it is that you're technically into. Good luck, everybody. Bye!